A PIC, or peripherally inserted central catheter, is a silicon catheter placed when longer term catheter is desired. Following supplies are needed in order to place the catheter. A sheath with an inner stylet is inserted into the vessel. The stylet is removed and the silicone catheter is inserted through the peel away sheath. Catheter is inserted up to the desired length and then the wings of the peel away sheath are snapped apart gently and gently removed as the catheter is fully inserted into the vessel. The catheter will then be sutured to the skin. Typically these catheters are paced in the lateral saphenous vein of the dog or the medial saphenous vein of the cat. They should be pre-measured to the desired location. It should be kept in mind that the vessel does not actually follow the superficial location but actually drops medially to join into the vena cava and when pre-measuring this should be taken into account by dropping the catheter over the back of the animal. The catheter has an inner stylet which is a woven wire which provides rigidity for placement. These catheters can be cut if they are too long. The inner wire which cannot be cut because of its woven nature must be retracted until the catheter is of the suitable length and then the end of the catheter is cut. It's extremely important to remember not to cut the wire. The patient should be clipped, surgically prepped, and drape should be placed. The drape has been left off for visualization purposes. The sheath with its inner stylet should be inserted through the skin and into the vessel. This should be done in two stages since the saphenous vein has a tendency to roll. Once in the vessel, flashbacks should be seen into the hub of the stylet unless the patient is extremely hypovolemic. The stylet is removed and the catheter is inserted into the sheath. The catheter should pass extremely easily into the vessel. If there is any resistance, the sheath is probably not in the vessel, but rather in the perivascular tissues. The catheter is inserted to the pre-measured location. Once the catheter has been inserted, the peel away is snapped and gently peeled off the catheter while simultaneously inserting the catheter more completely into the vein. The catheter is then sutured to the skin. If an insufficient prep has been done, it is very important to do a further prep at this time rather than suturing through fur. Once the suture has been placed, the stylet is removed. If there is difficulty in removing this wire, the white cap is taken off and saline is flushed into the catheter while removing the wire. Catheter is then flushed and aspirated to see if blood can be aspirated back. If not, the catheter may need to be repositioned. There may be leakage from the end of that T-port. If this occurs, a T-port should be replaced or an extension added. Catheter is then bandaged. Broad spectrum antibiotic is placed over the venotomy site, followed by a sterile telfa pad or 4x4s, and a light dressing is placed. These catheters are extremely useful for patients that may be in hospital for multiple days, for those patients that require multiple blood sampling, or for those patients requiring infusion of hyperosmolar solutions. To ensure ease of aspiration for blood sampling purposes, the tip of the catheter should always be up at the level of the vena cava.